Hello and welcome to a review of an 8 pack of Pogo Clone Troopers from uh, the Generation 1 Clone Troopers or Episode 2 Clone Troopers. Every single one of these Clone Troopers comes with a complete pack of these two little signal horn grey thing, grey pieces, one of these visor pieces, uh, this little neck thing, I forgot the name of this, the leg one, and two of these grey pistols. Every single one of these troopers come with these. Um, Two of the clone troopers you'll see momentarily will have uh, an extra piece of accessory, but um, that every single one of them does come with these. And uh, if I remove the helmets, uh, it's got the crappy stormtrooper face, crappy stormtrooper face, sort of clone trooper cartoon, Clone Wars animated face that seems a bit wonky with a beard, and this one has another crappy clone trooper face, stormtrooper face. Now these clone troopers are fortunately a lot better than the uh, bounty hunter pack of uh, figures that I reviewed in a different videos, so you can check that out as well, but these guys are definitely a lot better. Uh, the print is a lot more consistent and so is the molding. The hands are still far too tight uh, to mess around with, they, they will hurt your fingers after a while, so it's easy, it's highly recommended that if you do get these, you have um, you put a gun, in, like a longer gun or a spear in their hands to help move them because yeah, they are that tight. They're very, very frustrating. Uh, the face on this one is way off, it's far too stretched. And the other ones, these three faces, they're okay enough. I don't really care about them. I never want to look at these faces anyway because I don't like them. Plus, uh, the clone troopers most of the time are going to have helmets on. Uh, on the back here, you can see the print is... Well, these three have similar prints. Um, I think... Uh, for the most part they're also done pretty well as well. The, the lines are sharp enough and not too thick as well. So that's good. Next up we have these four clone troopers. We have um I think it's like meant to be an arc trooper or something. It's got like the whole this, I mean he's in uh, the clone clone wars cartoon miniseries, I think. Similar design anyway. Uh, and the uh, the print on the helmet's actually slightly off this red, it's a little bit off from the black lines, and that's not too good. Um, the rest of them are printed okay, the legs are printed uh, pretty decently on here, but it does feel like that the orange was, um, uh, you know those like thick color pens that kids have, and after the paint type page, the orange isn't covering, this little bits of whiter areas, it feels like that. <laughs> and uh, these two are printed okay as well. Um, we just removed the helmet, we got a uh, really goofy looking clone trooper face because it's printed way too high from where it should be. Uh, this one, this one's printed much better. This one has, uh, well, he's got an eye patch, like scarred eye thing going on. And you saw that, that um, antenna from this helmet just flew out. Uh, that, that happens because the holes on these helmets are not good enough and uh, the other grey pieces that you can attach to the helmet is, uh, also has the same problem. Uh, this guy also comes with, uh, well this one stays in there, oh, doesn't want to move. Uh, oh, as soon as you move it, it falls out, great, wonderful, just, 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 just great. It comes with a jetpack as well, and this jetpack had the same problem with having a lot of extra plastic on it. So on the front there, the front on the neck piece has a huge circle of plastic there, which is easy enough to remove, but you still have to do it. Um, and he has a decent looking face inside him as well. And the problem with two of the, this guy, uh, this guy really doesn't want to plug in here. Because <sighs> his leg shape's not quite. Uh, same with him as well, he, his legs don't really want to plug into the surface. So, uh, there's Lego here, but it's actually a Mega Bloks block here, which is understandable, it's Mega Bloks, hey, but um, and other Lego figures have no problem standing there, so, uh, sorry, your fault, Pogo Clone Trooper. And on the back there, they all pretty much have the same design, just different uh, colours to go along with the black outline, and they all, well, to be fair, look decent enough. Uh, so yeah, out of this entire lot, only the orange one is printed off-centre, the torso is printed lower than what it should be. So yeah, these clone troopers are definitely cheap to get, and they are far better than the other, the Bounty Hunter pack, 8 pack that I reviewed. However, they are still slightly frustrating to play with. All of them, the hands are still far too tight, the hips still far too loose. I can probably pick up one of these quite easily. Oh look, that disconnected because look at the shape inside there. It doesn't have a little X going on to help support the clutch. These are earlier Pogo stuff, and it is great to see them improve so much with uh, the more recent stuff that they've done, they're doing a lot of superhero figures that uh, a lot of the other bootleg companies aren't doing. So that's great on Pogo to do that, and I can tell you right now that those qualities are better, and I'll be filming reviews of those uh, very soon. Um, 
yeah looking back at these are slightly older ones they're not doing too well uh, a few of these have issues standing on official lego plates you have to really push them and jam them down onto the studs uh, which if it's just for display that's great you can just pose them down and they will look fine uh, if you're going to be playing around with them you're going to have a lot of frustrating moments where the figure won't plug in and causing you to put more force onto the piece and maybe breaking something else, snapping something else or pushing something else out the way. Uh, that's that's not going to be fun. Uh, the plus side is, with this set as well, is um, unlike other bootleg brands, you don't get any minifigure stands for them to stand on, but they do, every single one of them does come with a whole list, whole bunch of that uh, clone trooper gear, which would be useful for uh, even official figures just to put them up there. Uh, unfortunately with that, the downside of that one is um, none of the helmets seem to want to plug in little antennas or little grey bits on there too well. The uh, goggles do fine because the goggles uses both pegs and just sort of hangs on there quite well but the single side pieces hanging on the helmet is not doing too well with these figures. Yeah, which is, uh, yeah, this is a mixed lot. Um, however, I can recommend this for people who, who want a bunch of clone troopers to quickly build their clone trooper army in the background and stuff, but uh, you do have to be aware that uh, there might be frustrating issues with these. Maybe you can sand down the bottom of the feet just a little bit, uh, but uh, uh, at the same time, uh, some of these I've not seen in bootleg form, but the normal clone trooper, the orange one, one of these blue ones, I can't remember which one, um, have definitely, and this one too, have definitely been done by people like uh, Deku or Xingyuan, and so uh, you're going to have a much better time playing around with those. If you only want specific designs that has not been done by other bootlegs, then yes, I can recommend this, and, or maybe just buy that style individually, because you can, because uh, Pogo stuff is produced for the most part in, as individual things, so you can get them individually. Uh, I would not recommend getting this whole pack as a thing, you should get other bootlegs first for the similar prices and then fill in the gaps with designs that only Pogo has done and you have a much better time there. Mm. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button or leaving a comment below on how you feel about these guys. As always, you can check out my other videos with Adblock turned off. I appreciate that a lot. I've reviewed a lot of other Star Wars, both real and fake, Lego as well as other Star Wars model kits, action figures, like I said, figures or uh, one by 12 scale model action figures uh, those, those are cool and uh, again at block time buff would be great you can also support this channel on patreon if you think it deserves it uh, but you don't have to do any of that as always take care have a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now may the force be with you i almost forgot that i need to say that on every single star wars video maybe stick a wilhelm scream somewhere because that that's a thing